transportation, mm -hmm. public transportation. I don't drive, I don't have a car, I don't rent a car, but I don't sit on the SEPTA board either. Well, I, I, I apologize for that, for that mistaken fact, and uh, while we're correcting facts, I'm not a trust fund baby. <laughs> you should know that. And I actually have, I, I've, I've, I've had jobs in, in, in my life. Right, and let's, let's go to the questions. <laughs> You've been both doing incredibly well. Hi, my name is Bill Marston, and I'm uh, uh, active in uh, liberal politics in various ways, not directly politics, although I am part of Neighborhood Networks, and I'll speak up for it because we've gotten a lot of people who used to support us in Neighborhood Networks who have sort of laid back, and we're still around. Uh, my question is also going to be a mix, uh, as, as Paul did, with uh, mixing drink and drive. I'd like to mix, uh, uh, let's see, I'll say it's money and uh, uh, the environment, uh, which often don't mix. Uh, there is on the books, a law that says that you can increase your state reimbursement for education if you build a lead rated major addition or renovation. Nobody knows about this. Well, I know you do because you're in the house, but nobody else knows about it. In fact, the business officials of the very school districts don't even know about it, so they don't even know to tell their school district, we should go this way if we want to increase our state reimbursement. So the question is, um, how uh, would you, I mean, I know how I would do it, and I will make that recommendation if you'd let me, but how, how, would, <laughs> each of you, how would each of you bring about a new piece of, uh, I'll call it incentive, or uh, some kind of legislation which would foster green uh, building or green energy or smart meters or any of these other tools, just pick one and make it a piece of legislation you would offer that doesn't already exist as opposed to talking about one that already does. Great, why don't you take that first? And then sure, and I think I alluded to this before. Um, well, first of all, it, as for policies that do exist, I think there's an important role, especially when it comes to our more local officials, to be communicating with your, your constituents and be knocking on doors, not just during campaign season, but when you're serving in office, and finding out what's important to them, because that is the role of a legislator. The only way you can be a good representative is that if you're actually talking to people. And when it comes to good policies like that, we need to be letting people know about it, and letting them know about it personally. Um, as far as specific legislation, I, I, I talked about this earlier, I would be introducing legislation that's going to put the $27 million in federal stimulus money that was allocated to Philadelphia to retrain our workers to do green energy construction. We would put that to work and actually give them work to do by mandating all new, new construction or significant renovation of state-owned buildings to meet green building standards. And this, I think, would set a very positive example for what is possible. And I also think we can look to what's in our own backyard to benchmark from the best, in the sense that that Comcast building that was built, while there were definitely some problems and some challenges, it is the biggest green energy building in the world. And we need to be utilizing the resources that are in this district and meeting with the people that put that project together and figuring out how we can bring that to other businesses and also to residences. Thank you. We actually in state government already uh, encourage and now insist on green buildings and green um, procedures in our own uh, owned buildings and our vehicle fleet and in many other areas. I think if I were asked, and I was asked, to be absolutely um, original, um, I would say that the most important thing we could do right now is to encourage people to eat local food, to buy produce that is grown by local farmers, Pennsylvania farmers. Agriculture is the biggest industry in this state. Philadelphia, I think, is a great food town. We, and I am on the Agriculture Committee because I want to work with the Republicans there who are farmers and remind them over and over again that
that we in Philadelphia are their biggest customer and they should not be trying to get political points in their districts by being anti-Philadelphia because if Philadelphia cannot buy their crops, they cannot exist. So we have also in Philadelphia, the, we are the largest city that actually has an agricultural policy and we have gardens here in the city that are big enough to be farms. I have helped them grow. I have brought uh, the farmers markets here. I am a local locavore. How about that for a nice word? And I am hoping that we can marry agriculture and the most urban district in the state because we need each other and many Republicans realize that I just help them to vote that way.